Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Total Warhammer 3 and Black Templar. And you may be wondering why we back at Total Warhammer. Well, apart from that, I want to do the other races as well. You remember back in December, November last year, I did a poll asking you which race should I do next? Well, the votes were casted, and you told me to play these guys the Ogre Kingdom. Oh, man. You guys really do hate me, don't you? <laughs> now, We've only got two lords, which is Grease Tooth and Scrag. Now, I have been um, considering which faction to do. Now, I've had to go to the pair of them to see what they could do. And to be honest, I'm going to go with Scrag. Two reasons. In the map here, yes, I'm in between Belagar, the humans, and the Border Princess. Not a very fun place to be, I'll admit. But it's better than Grease Tooth because you know why? Yeah, I heard that, Grease Tooth. Um, the reason I am not going to go here for one reason only. Because I'll be sandwiching two very powerful lords. Helm and Goff, which you can easily, which you can somewhat convince. But it's Grimgore. Yes, Grimgore, I've got so much plot armor. I'm one of the most busted characters in the game, who's an asshole, is the one I'm going to have a problem with. Because he gets so strong so quickly and... I've had to go over it three times to see if there's any way to make confederate before I make this proper playthrough. There's no way to to, con to talk to him. There's no way to ally with him. There's even no way to even reason with Grimgore. He'll just come out here and just beat the shit out of you. So, yeah. I'm not in the mood to fight Grimgore. No way. So I'm going to go here where I'm far away from the sod. And he can just deal with him all, all this lot. I mean, yeah, we'll have to deal with him eventually. But I'd rather go here. Anyhow, folks, let's dive in, shall we? Now, the first, um, you know, video will be all about, like, how the ogres work, all their um, mechanics, before we get into their lore. Because I think it's a better way for people to know what you need to do to even work with this lot. Because the ogres, the ogres are a bit of a, how can I put it? They're a little bit money-heavy faction money and food heavy faction they're not what they call like like most factions you need a lot of money but they're more heavy on that because there are several campaigns i want to do and we'll get to them in due time so there'll be a lot more warhammer freeze coming but it's just at the moment i gotta do the one that the people asked for because i know what i'm gonna do next but i'll leave that for another date Right. <clears throat> so first off, we need to deal with the Border Princess, which is these guys. So, <clears throat> Agendorf and Makarov are the two main capitals we need to capture. Now, yes, I got to deal with the, the Golden Lot, but it's Belagar I've got to watch out for. He's the biggest threat. So, Zephkovia. So, there's three areas we need. There's Orcs here, but it's not Grimgor. And I can handle that. Right. First off... We need these camps. Because you see, the problem with the ogres is they do not have like, a structured system where you can like get a capital, build the best units, and use that. No. The way the ogres work, they need these camps. Unfortunately, we have to unlock them. Ooh, a hunter. Get, get in that squad. Now, ogre hunters are brilliant. Ogre hunters are your... Um, they give you increased mobility. So, very handy. So, now, the thing about the Ogres is, well, they're good at trading. So, try and get a trade route running with these guys. Right, let's go straight into it. Crossbowmen and them. Yeah, we can handle that. So, let's fight the battle. The reason why I picked him is because... Is these guys here. The gorgeous. The gorgeous are monsters. Well they are monsters. But the good thing about them is. They got stalk. And. You know stealth. So basically they're hard to see. But once they get into combat. Like if I get them from the side. Like they got Vanguard deployment. If I get them from the side. Like 
Same as how I distract them, and they can just pincer in. Uh, no. So he's got is he have spells. He does. Brain Gobbler and Bull Gorge. So that gives unleash him. Right. So to say a Vanguard deployment, I could put that unit there. I put this unit in the woods. So, take the lines out of the way. I should have moved them, but I couldn't. <clears throat> now, get them moving there. Get you two moving in there. Right, so Right, you go that way, take them out, since they're busy focusing firing, they're not looking. Now, with the ogres, they're pretty much brute simple. Just charge them in. The more charge you have, the mass they got, and they can cause havoc. So they've taken up. Oh, so now they can move. And here's the lions. Oh, they're in. And they don't know that they're coming, so they're going to get a big surprise. Oh, was it spotted? They haven't spotted us yet, but now they're about to get that. Um, give him that. Oh, look at that. Somebody got eviscerated pretty heavy. So, they're now in trouble, so. And the gorges are just tearing them up. Now, the gorgeous you don't get to very later on, but getting them early, very good, because look at this. Oh, he just, went, he just got his head smashed off. The mayor panicking. Okay, they are now fully broken. All right, here comes the bulls, and that's it. Now, don't let this guy get away. Just kill as much as we can. Our saber pack is pretty much murdering them and eating them, so we don't have to deal with them. Oh, he just got murdered. I just saw him just went splat. He got sent flying through shock damage. Now, we got their leader. Okay, his guy is well and truly in trouble. Oh yeah, I forgot. With the ogres, when they throw their weight around, they really throw it around.
get them out because there's so much mayhem to see where the where their leader is. There he is. Is he starting to take damage? Ooh, I think he got hit with the cleaver. So. Yeah, he's starting to take damage. They're still around and they're getting murdered. Well, their target's way over there, but they're gone. I wouldn't bother. Wait, let's wind it forward. Get this guy killed. We didn't do this guy because I need experience. Yep, he's now reaching his regen cap, so once that's gone, he's pretty much dead. And there we go. And that's the end of the of that prince. I mean, look at that gorgeous. They did some heavy damage. So did our saber tusks. But the thing you gotta look at is with the ogres, they they're all about like brute force charging. I mean they will get some more better units, it's just at the moment this is what they've got to work with. I mean Scrag only got ten, but to be honest, Scrag is more about like buffing and like weakening morale, which he did in that fight. Meet. Let's go help. We need everyone back. Killed in battle. Okay, first off. Now, he is good. But the one we want is. Healer. And we also want Lightning Strike and Quartermaster. With them, we can make a lot of, you know, good things happen. Now, as you can see, we've got a thing now called Big Names. Now, Big Names, what they do is they give you more abilities. Now, each hero of the Ogres is different because they all have Big Names. Even he has one. Like, when a back... Like, you've got to fill these requirements to get the um, better stuff. Now... Any help back there? <coughs> Excuse me. So, increase more movement. So that means now this lock can move quicker. Now we can just kill them straight out, guys. They're not big threat, but ooh, what's this? Plus leadership. Give it to them. Now, you could buy, get the f money off them, but I would just go for occupying. So our next stop is Akadorf. Get that province, then we can head south to Zakharov. Because, one, I do not want to anger a dwarf certain named Belikar coming in my face. And also, I don't want any other problems. Right, since we're here... Oh, you have access to them already. Nice. Now these guys are the like the stronger version of the regular ones. Get them early is pretty good. You have a level two already? Oh you do. Nice. That's handy. Right. Faster healing. Always good. Remember the pack. Ooh. Give them Vanguard deployment. They could be nasty. Now, our next stop with Scrag is to go to Akendorf, take it out, and then we can um, consolidate and head south to deal with the other border prince, and then work where we're going to next. Because to be honest, guys, I do not want to go anywhere near Grimgore. But I could try and have some alliances. Big name unlocked. Black Venom's destroyed. There's a confederacy. Right. Promises as to the outcome, 
Yeah, it's probably 3,000, but doesn't mind having. I agree. So we've got an alliance there, so it means. Ready. Onward. Right, um, there's someone in there. Yeah, not the border prince himself. It's this guy. So, interesting that Right Order are seeking targets for their initiates to practice on. And here you are. Very unfriendly at the moment. So, we're not going to do anything with him at the moment, but we're not going to go to the Empire yet. Now. Okay, so. Now, the reason I've done this, guys, because I don't want them coming after me, and I don't want, to, you know, a certain grudge bearer to get a little angry and come after me. So, we have a big name. So, what name did you get, sir? From camps, me generally from plus battles. Oh, yeah. We'll have this for now. But we will be um, taking these, getting these eventually. <clears throat> now, are Ogres good at sieges? 50 50. Because. Yes, they're, they're strong enough to break down gates for fun, and they're sturdy, but it's surviving long enough to open up the door. So the Crushing defeat because of the walls. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to continue the siege for now, because they are already... Like, they reach siege themselves, so... What I want to do is I want to weasel them out. To say, right, come on out. Out of the gates, bash them, and then kill them. But next round, we will have a camp. <clears throat> and when we do, it's going to be some fun. Now, are the border princes going to sally out and attack me? Which I hope you do. He didn't. All right, fair enough. This is good for me because it gives me time to build up a little bit of strength. Now I got this dock. This will help me with growth and income, which is always good. Now there's another way for the ogres to gain money over through trade negotiations. I've been doing, try to do actually, because I was trying to get some trade with the um, you know. With the bright wizard, with the golden order, because if I can get a trade with them, I can get some peace and quiet before I have to deal with someone like Belagar. They really don't want to sally out, do they? Well, that's fine, because the way I see it, guys, the longer this goes on, the siege, the better it is for me, because the longer he's stuck there. Eastern border princess, yep, I've got to level up. victory. Uh, now, we'll, we'll continue the siege a little longer. I mean, I will do the siege, but... Right, um... I need that up to level 2. Now, I don't know what happens when you get, like, these capitals, because every time on, in the eastern area, you didn't, there was not many capitals for me to grab, but in, over here, there's a bountiful of full. So I'm seeing if this gives me any boosts to get, like, Oh, here we go. For Nobler's 50% or... What was it? Plus 5. Yep. Okay, don't lose anyone, so... Occupy it. Profit secured. As I suspected... Even with the capitals, guys, it just turns to this. So, yeah. So, we will not be staying too long here. And you... There we go. Now, um, I will be leaving this area soon to get stuff. So, healer, keep healing them. 
immune psychology. Oh, yeah. Well, could, that could be nice. And this... We want control, guys, first. We need to control the area. Because last thing I want is a rebellion. Like, sprout out of nowhere while we're not recovering. But we also got a camp to build. This is the main thing about the ogres. It's all about building their camps. Because the more camps they build, the better their armies get. Let's go take us a dead. What stone has been done? Okay. Butcher Spice, more quicker on the re casual recovery. So, how does camps work, you may ask? Right. You cannot do it in a settlement, and you cannot do it near a settlement. You have to be outside. Someone like here will do perfectly. So let's move along here. Now, as you can see over that yellow circle, this is my sphere of influence with this camp. So as long as I'm in there, I'll get the camp's benefits. But if I'm away, there's a problem. And here comes another problem. The Skull Takers, what the hell are you doing here? You better not start a fight, buddy, or I'm coming to get you. So as you can see, the skill camp, these camps will give you a lot of stuff. Now, we're not going to need this because, well, one, we've already got one, so we don't need that. The first one I recommend everyone to get is this one, Spare Tent, because one, it gives you growth for the camp, and two, local recruitment gets plus one. Now, the growth of your camps is separate to the normal growth, so don't worry about that. So, we get this, so that means once that gets built, we have growth. Now, I forgot to show you this, which is Offer of the Great Maw. Now, if you offer them food, the Great Maw will give you bonuses. I'll be using this bonus in a minute to get some speed. Now, in Akadorf. Another one of them. Upgrade that. Because pretty soon, I'm hoping to do some trades. Or someone will come and trade with me. Because you got to guys, the more money we accumulate, <clears throat> the more fa of our faction will grow. I know it's weird, because you think, well, every faction needs money. True, but ogres need it more, because of their, <coughs> their voracious appetite and, and lifestyle. Right. So, <clears throat> to show off, so we're going to go over this. Come and get it. See what I mean, guys? We have now got more speed. So. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, with these camps, it all revolves around population to get another building. So the next one we want is this. We'll be in two turns. We will level this base up to level two. Now. So the next one will be, um, I'll be leveling up this camp. And get the defenses up on the other camps. But you're getting the idea where this is going, guys, with with the ogres. They are a little bit of a, um, they're a little bit of a heavy, um, kind of like you've got to really spend time with them. Oh my, they've, so they're bringing up reinforcements, huh? Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, God. Gelt's on his way. Oh, my God. Gelt, 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 Gelt. I don't want to fight you. So, can you leave me alone, please? Please leave me alone. I just want to deal with the Border Princess. That's all. Arrival power oh, hello. Demanding a change in your mutual relations. I'm, I'm willing to do that because two reasons. One... I do not want to end up in a situation where I'm constantly at war dealing with him and then have Bella, like, like, Bella's over there, like, Belvazar Glent come at me from behind. I am the right, so, unfortunately, guys, we can't do anything until we get to level 2, so that's fine, and... We can put camps up, but I think it's best to get... This running because the more money we accrued, the better. Right. Now. To war. My throng stands ready. Do not disappoint me. Okay, you're not willing to listen. You dare approach a lord of the dowry in such a manner? Seven thousand. It is time. 
You dare approach a lord of the Darien? It is talk. Talk, then, for I make no oath to the surety of your life. Okay, so they're not willing to listen. Um, top knots are there. Border Prince. The Empire. You come bearing arms. The Empire. A face such as yours would make for an interesting gilded statue. I have a spell for that, you know. Jeez. Does he really hate Ogus that much? Ugh. All right, so so I'm gonna head back. Now you might think I'm a bit crazy not attacking them yet, not attacking them, kill them. Well, there's a reason. If they're backing off, they're going off to deal with someone else, and that gives me time to build an army. Because the thing about camps is, guys, the camps don't have a defense. You need to put defenders in, and to do that, you're gonna have to put in from another army, aka my lord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Buff the camp up. Broken nose. A non-aggression pack with money. Hey, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to get some money. Right. Now, this is the new thing, which is contracts. Now, if we do this, we could get some bonuses. The high palace is all the way over there. Now, each of them will give you a bonus. Like, let's see. Angmahal, yeah, nope. If you want us to fight Grudge Bearer? Uh, no. I think I'll go with that one. So there it is. Now, since I have ridiculous speed, thanks to my little um, power boost. Oh, please tell me you have another one for yes. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at the speed he's going. So, let's see how far it will take us to get to this place. Hmm. He can't get there. Now, that indicates to me I have one of two things. Either one, it's so far away, it's going to take me a while to get there. Let's see, how far is it? It's not that far, so... There we go. So, two, three, so one, two, three. So, it'll take me a few turns to get there. Not too hard to get to, I'll be honest. Right. So that's leveling up, which is good. Now, you want to get the camp quickly to level 3. Why level 3, you may ask? Well, for two reasons. Reason 1 is to get, you know, the better units. Because that's when the camps start, you know, becoming good. Okay. Um... Ooh, we'll need this camp growth because the quicker our camps grow, the better. Broken nose died. Now, a good bear will probably not bother me. Karas Karag. Now, if that dwarf army is weak. I might take a pot shot at it, but not right now. Now, as far as um, Baran Garak, I'm not Baragra. I'm not going to fight them because I did make an agreement and not attack them. For now, maintain control of free promises. I buy direct. Yeah. Ah. Retake the realms. Ah, we're facing up against 
The crooked moons, huh? No, you're dead. <clears throat> He's not wrong there on that one, but we'll get to that later in the lore segment video. But the thing is, though, we're in a good position. Crooked moons have got more power than me, but to be honest, once I kill them, I'm just going to just sack it, destroy it, claim it, run away, and then just go, right, I'm out of here. Nice. So this camp is now level M um, two. Now that means we can get this. Now we could go for this to load the upkeep, which we're going to do. So I'm gonna wait till we get to the third level, then we'll start building it. So for the meantime, not gonna do anything. Mount Gumball and all that. So, take it out and let the dwarves deal with it. Don't you dare. Oh, they've gone for a non-aggression pack. Yeah, I'll accept that. So now they're more open to trade. Now I do this, it will boost my morale with them. Like I said, if I have Grudge Bear on my side, it'll be good because that means it gives me a bit of leeway. Sorry guys, but Sorry Scar Snake, but I want that place. Ooh, what we got here? Plus four leadership. Give it to them. Let's fight this battle. So the Goblin Army is not, it's not very um, like problematic for these guys, but they are the the Spider Riders are. But that's what the Lions are going to come in. They're going to take on them. Start deployment. So So we're going to put the lions there so they can deal with them and put them to there. Right. And okay. So starting off, they're going to go after them. The rest of the army will move forward. And these guys We'll go after the Goblin Archers. Let's go. Oh, they, they're moving. Are they moving away? <clears throat> the forest goblins are on the... I'm going to get caught here. Nice. They've got their hands on them. Oh, they had a sneaky go get unit. You get into that. Now they're spotted, but they're too late now. Oh no, they spotted someone else. Oh, that's fine, because that means now... Now they're coming to get them. Right, they're broken. Now they're caught. Now 
Looks like the spider riders have left the field. Oh, the Avid is still there. <laughs> nope. That way. And now they're broken. No point continuing, guys, because, well, they're in the base. They're dead. That has to be the quickest killing I've ever seen. The Golden Keep of Secrets, Lord Pamephius. Right. So you can see, guys, we're now... Occupy? And they've started a war. Big name made. Oh, Skarsnik. You took a bit of beating, didn't you? Right. Silent Hunter. Could give him Stork. Ooh, I'll give him Frenzy, actually. No, four more turns, and nothing is ready to go. Big name available. So it's you. Who is it? Who's got the big name? It's apparently you. Oh, it's this one. Win a mountain climb battle. Oh, hell yeah. Can I have my line of sight increased? Now, we need to stop Sagrid and take out that. And that, then head. Actually, I think we might have to stop um, someone. But if we take out Scarsdale and give that territory back, I think Grip Bear will be more inclined to listen to us. Move on, would you? Yeah, well, let's do that. Nice. Oh, God. Yeah, he's got those reinforcements. But I think it's because of Skarsnik. So I can hold out and wait till he comes out. This is what I hate, guys, about... Any orcs and golden army, it's that. Oh, we've got this ability. Ah, oh, finally. Now that we've got that. Now we can start building this up. There we go. So they'll be getting built. Um, oh. We'll get you. We need that, but... There'll be a lot of upgrading to be done, which will have to be done. Now. Oh, damn it. I'm suffering attrition as well. Oh, that's not good. Pyrrhic victory. Lose Noblest? I'm cool with that. All right. They've signed on aggression. Yep. <coughs> this is just what me kick Skarsnik's ass. Ooh, recruitment cost lowered. A big name. Right. Um. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Um. Oh, nice. Now, talk to. It is time. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. What's this one? Have a trade agreement and balance. Fine. I accept the gifts 
sit in the book. Now that we've gotten a trade agreement, it should give me a little more breathe room. And Grinch Bear has his territory back. Right. So, get a couple more, like, snotlings back. Now, I don't know how long this war army's been going. That's the question. I think it's been going for a couple of turns, so I've got to wait a little bit. Right, you're leveling up. But now that I've given it back to... Grudge Bear, he's now willing to listen better. So if we look at his... <coughs> we've moved up from neutral. So we're doing alright. I mean, we're stronger than him. I mean, we could take this all out, guys. But I'd rather have a good ally than have this treacherous swine backstab me. The vampire count. Ooh, I don't want to deal with them right now because that's rank twenty, and that's something I don't want to deal with right now. So hopefully they'll keep them off my back. So we'll move along here, and now I get access to the. I ain't guts. But sadly, I'm too far away to benefit from it. Alright, so over here, um, treasure. Upgrade that. Now the camp. Now, as you can see, guys, the camp's starting to get better because once these two get going, I'm already at 12. So that means, guys, the next level for this camp is about to come to pass. It means, yeah, I'm not going to get the best stuff yet, but the more quicker I level that camp up, the better. <clears throat> oh, he's coming to attack me. Fine. So we're going to go to World Edge, then Mount Gunbolt, Gunbad, and that's it. This area is now secure. I'll have a camp here. Okay, so he's... The Blue Axe Tribe's gone. Ooh, increase the trade, and... This is where we're going to get the Quartermaster. Okay, so now... That's leveled up, and that one and Vanguard deployment. Right, take out the World Edge Archway. Size of victory. Loot and occupy, because that is a lot of money. Right. Now, some of you might think, why go for this first, the Quartermaster? Well, like I said, cheapens the army, and that means that goes higher and quicker. Ooh. You're a level two. And there we go. So now we've got some bases there. But I'm also closing in to get my next camp. Now, this camp is about ready. So... Let's do that one so we can cheapen the camp even further. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need that as well. Because, like I say, guys, the more you cheapen the stuff, the more room we have to wiggle and more armies we can make. Now, will Skarsnick call for a truce? Because his army's getting absolutely battered. Mm -hmm. The gorges have picked up a scent. 
There is fresh meat to be had. Follow their trail and fill your cauldron. Skaven. For the more hungers. Okay, we'll look into that later. Once I've got the strongest army. Now this is what we need, guys, to get the second camp. Then I'll come back here and get most of this done. Now, that's not Skarsnik. Now, all right, so, so now we have enough guys to go all the way to 20, but we need to get 10,000 first to get to 16. And then 20,000. I recommend doing one camp at least. I'll explain why. If you do one camp at least, it means that you've got access to all the best units for the short term. Um, yep. Because once I've got access to a camp, I'll put the camp there. Then that way, I have this area... Locked down. Hello, Skarsnik. Uh, no. You will die. A horrible, painful death, Skarsnik. I'd rather you gone than having you come at my back and stab me. I don't trust you. Oh, they died. Who got them? What's the contract, anyway? Um. Oh. Hey, let me fuck out Dork. Well, I could do that. Frost of Gloom. Oh, that's easy to be done as well. Raise that. Wait, they want to raise. Someone's took it, so I'm guessing they did lost it. So. Yes. Failed. Close defeat, huh? Alright then, continue the siege. Now, I may have... I know I'm doing a lot of this, but it's for the benefit, guys. Because if we get these... Higher money. And besides, even if I die there... Valiant defeat. Yep, run away. I think it's best I go off and heal. Ah, oh, crud! He got wounded. Jenkins, you an asshole. Well, since I've got to wait a while, let's bring in some heavy artillery. Ugh. Well, I'm going to have to go do the old hard way. All right. Now, as you can see, guys, my money is rising, which is something I need. And I will start building this up very soon. <clears throat> but I do need to get that army running to do some jobs. <clears throat> so now hold your breath. The great fluid burden. One more turn, guys, and I'll get a camp. Then once I get a camp, this could be good. Because it give me the chance I need to quickly heal and also have extra troops. All 
All right. There we go. We have another camp. And that's all I can do with that. Now that I have another camp, guys, in this area, it means now I've got access to better healing and better troops. Once the, um, the camp levels up. Oh, hello! So you took the camp, huh? Well, that's fine, because that you've come out. Violent defeat. I think we know what's causing this guy. It's Skarsnik. He's anti-large. That's the problem. But that's the reason, guys, I need to get rid of Skarsnik. I mean, the rest of the goblins. If we take all them out and these two guys. Skarsnik is the problem. It's not the rest of the army, guys. The army is easy to kill. It's Skarsnik. That's the only reason why we haven't found defeat because of... Yep, Skarsnik. Right, um... Put you to there. Oh, you don't have line... You don't have his deployment yet. There they are. You go after them. You go after... Actually, no. Now, the reason I'm not moving, guys, because... Right, we spotted them. Right, they've got a hold of them. You keep those guys busy. Now they're in the back lines taking out their stuff. They play rallies, I figured they would. And they're taking care of them, which is good. They're moving them, good. Right, you get out.
Take them out. Right there, gone. Once I see the skull, guys, I'm leaving them. You take them out. You talk Skullsnick. Um, heal them up. Okay, you've taken care of that lot. That chariot's gone. Follow. Okay, they took care of them. They're gone. And they're coming back down to deal with you. If we can just take these guys out. Okay, they've broken. No units breaking. They're starting to falter. Right, the nasty skulkers are gone. And Skarstick's losing armor. He's losing health. And Skarstick is broken. Get him. Do not let Skarstick run away. Well, that's the end of Skarstick. He's gone. Now, where's the one we want to kill? There he is. Don't let those lords escape. I think we're going to kill him anyway, so close victory. <coughs> we are victorious. So like I said, guys, that army's not that bad. It was just Skarsnik. He's the one who was tipping the scales. That's what I hear about the legendary lords. Like, oh, they're so powerful. They're legendary. They get the bonuses. Now they're, they're weak. I mean, I just smashed Skarsnik into the ground. So with him gone, that army's now pretty much kaput. Because we've lost the spider riders. Those goblins are pretty much gone. They're gone. I doubt they'll last long. Fool, the entire army's gone. Plenish. Yep. Yep. Oh, they died. Right. There's quartermaster done. Now we're gonna head up and claim that. I mean, I could make another camp, which would be good because that means now I have a camp. And over here, this camp, leveled up. So we deploy another camp. I mean, once I've conquered this land, what I'll do then is I'll hold off and then just build up the camps and get ready to rock and roll. 
oh, there's the, the guy we need to kill, but kill the camp and then that's it. He automatically dies. Okay, a lot of things are going on right now. That's a charming thought. Sorry for the quiet. I had to take care of something. Right. Uh, no. You're dying, Skarsnik. I said you were going to die. You will die. I don't care what it takes. You are dying. Someone's performed Doom technology. Right. Finding the... Oh, it's this bloody horde... Okay then. Oh, I hate. This is why I hate about sieging this place. It's like a nightmare. Right. Um. And this one. More money. And next round, I'll get that camp built. It's really annoying, guys, this Skarstix faction. They just will not die. There we go. There we go. I think that's the end of um, the Quicker Moons. Dofu? What do you want? Best. Because I'm not having a treatman come crash into my barracks. Thank you very much. There we go. Problem secured. Quicker moves destroyed. So. That's not bad. Oh, but I want this. The cavalry charge. Right. Now we can get lightning strike. So we can deal with certain enemies. Increase our mobility. Right, so we can stay still now and start building up this camp, our camps. So what I'm going to do is. So, yeah. This camp has now got more defenders to defend it. So, like before. And with this camp. We can now get these. I'm going to get. Probably, I can only get one for now, so I'll get that. And level up that. Um, yeah, we need to control the area. This area is a little bit out of control at the moment because of the um, the battles. But yes, this is what you gotta do, guys. And once I've got enough money to say right, I could build a second army. I will do. Right, so make that, get that in, uh, 
There we go. Um, casualties and... Yeah. And I know what you're thinking. Why not do the that camp as well? Well, i got to do the first one first. Get that to a point where I could say, right, build some forces to pretty much be the guardians of this area. Then I'll build a second army to prepare for the southern areas. Speaking of which... So he's getting stronger, but at the same time, he's now listening to us, and we're performing better. On, boss. On right, so... At the moment, um, we can't get the other bit yet. We can get another bit, so we're going to go with this one, because it's more expensive. Now, we do have enough to level up to 20... W to go for the final level of this camp, which we will do later. we go level up that because the more money we get the better and um, what's this one of groovy oh hell yeah I want to upgrade my um coffers because more money more I can work around what the hell is he doing here act the slaughterer what are you doing here I don't remember you oh god look who's showing up you remember what I said about Grimgore being the biggest asshole in the entire world? Well, there he is. New contracts. Eliminate Farka, Ag the Slaughterer. Which is I want to, but I'm not strong enough yet. Occupy. No. You not a chance. I'm not picking a fight with Grimgore. Forget it. I mean, he's the strongest army in the game. Uh, no. You gonna shake your hands to him? Not for me. Nope. So it's quick deals, and none of them are worthy of quick deals. Bugger. Oh, well. Well, the problem is with Scrag is he's not ready yet because he's busy repairing. I'm trying to level up. Alright. There we go. So that's going to activate... Yeah, I know contracts are available, and I know builds are great, but... <laughs> with the ogres, you have to do with infrastructure. That's why I was trying to get peace with um, certain factions to build these camps. All right. So what's this one? Oh, don't mind that. Yeah, I know, but we can't do anything at the moment. So, oh, that's right. I'm not, I'm not in a fortress. That's the reason why I'm not getting the good units. So, hang on a sec. There we go. Now, I'm not going to build his army yet, because what I'm trying to do is get this camp up and running. Now we can get some better units coming up. So they got charge bonus. There we go. I need to get that so we can lower the cost. I mean, that can't keeps 500 to keep. That is 100 because we got that to level 2. 
if we can get this up here from like to here, this cap becomes ludicrously cheaper. And trust me, when you get these camps to, to cheapness, it makes it a lot more easier to work around. Explains what's been going on. Strong. They've all got strong armies. The ogres can be strong, guys, but they do take a while to get going. So for the last two, I'm going to be honest, guys, will probably be the cooking pot and the meat generator. Because unfortunately, it only works in the sphere of influence. So, go with that. Get some major, major loot. Oh All right, and then same as before, level them up. Now we got the global. We have access to these guys. Morph and cavalry, but we want the better version, which we will get soon. Ready for marking. No wonder they've they want have got them. This is what I hate about the orcs. They have a like bullshit way of going, oh, we have now like essentially two stacks per person. It's like that's a bit unfair. <clears throat> That's why I am trying to avoid a battle. <clears throat> Clan Rictus is gone. Top Knots are gone. And they've succeeded. Well, I'm not surprised. You had a bloody wah. <clears throat> so they're not up there yet. Right, um, could do with that actually because income generated, but I have to go back to the main camp. Oh, yay, we can get the better version of the man eaters. The Iron Fists. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Once, like I said, once that camp is fully fit, if I have to run away from this, uh, that one's f so be it, because that camp is where my most my main force is. And once I've sorted out Scrag's army, and your turn an income of 6,000. Ooh. Is doable. Yeah, it's quite doable. <clears throat> the boss. Oh, we can unlock, move this up, and get these guys constantly. The gorgeous. Then we can get the giants, and then that monstrosity. But I do want that up. Oh, that, oh, that one doesn't matter. It gives me the fire belly. It's the one above I want. Armor piercing, collision attack, anti-infantry, siege artillery, which I would love to have. But that's not going to be for a while, so... <clears throat> get that motor in. I wonder, could we get... Oh, he's bugging off that no north. Good. Gives me time. Technology. Yep. Camp Grove.
where Amish present, that could be handy, gold standard, income from losing sacking, but this is the one we want. Saddle Soul Queen. That's something I didn't want to know, thank you very much. Well, that's about to activate, so... I mean, this isn't even... Yo, know, guys, we are going to be slow for a little while until, you know... We can get through this mess. They've declared war. <sighs> Typical. You know, they're brain dead. But I can't go back yet because I gotta keep this area in peace. Ooh. Get it done. Minus twenty percent upkeep on all camps. That could be handy. Um. But I want to get back to the other camp. Now we got access to them, but we need that up. Yep, we can account upkeep cost. So this will probably be the last turn, then we will call it a day, but not bad start. We got the dwarves on our side, we've gotten... We're away from bloody um, Grimgore, for we're ne next to the Grimgore, but I've got a massive buffer now, thanks to... Um, Grudge bearer, so got him on my side. He's a happy camper. I know twenty percent. So yep, yeah. one. La I was going to last turn, but I think this might be a better time to do this because I might get a thing done, and then we will. Then I'll have to look at where do I go next. Because of the fact now that I've gotten. That main camp over there built. And I got a good buffer and grudge bearer. Oh, the blade hands were failed. Yay, I got that. <clears throat> Alright, um Lightning Strike again, because I wanna make damn sure I have advantages. But yeah, I mean, the hell? This camp, um, oh yeah, this can't go any higher. Oh, great. I'm not in a good position. It's time for me to get back because I think he's getting a little bit uppity. Not enough to do that. All this because Gail's being a royal dick. But I have no way of stopping him, so I need to get back fast as I can. <clears throat> A faction destroyed. That's a better one. Income for more buildings. Okay. 
The guild's going somewhere else, which is good. I think I need to start making more more better defenses. So yeah, I think all the girls declare war against a vampire. That's good actually. How about I dress you as a big, fat, ugly rat? But anyway, folks, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. And on the next Total Warhammer 3, we're going to head back to our, known, our own camp. And then start preparing to fight probably the orcs or the undead. Something tells me we're going to have to fight one or the other. Anyhow, I'll catch you later.